I hope you are doing great. In this video, we will talk about the onboarding of various devices into the SD-WAN controllers. Right now, as you can see from the graphical user interface, the vSmart and vBone are successfully integrated into the vManage and they have also established the tunnels with each other. So we'll talk about the van, how we are going to onboard the vanish devices into the SD-WAN controllers. So let's start. Firstly, we have to go to the device section. Over here, there's a, the first option, vanish list is selected. There are multiple ways in order to onboard the vanish devices into the SD-WAN controllers. The first and the most useful method is this, that you uh, sync your vManage with a smart account. This is an option over here. Once you click it, the menu will pop up. And over here, you have to give your smart account credentials. What it will do, it will pull all your van as devices list into the vManage. And after that, vManage will push all those information to the vBond. So that whenever the van edge device is going to communicate with a vbond, so vbond will already have that list, and so that vbond will get to know that this is the legitimate van edge device that is going to communicate with a vbond. This is one of the security parameter of the SD van as well. Right now, I do not have a smart account. What I will do, I will manually upload the van edge device into the SD van controllers. So let's start. The first thing is we have to configure the interface related configuration. So I have to go into VPN zero. And over here, there are two interfaces in which, through which I'm going to communicate with the SD-WAN controllers. Firstly, I will use the first interface, which is GE0-1. I have given the interface IP. The next thing is, I have to assign some basic parameters to this interface. Copy and paste go, by going to the IP address is already allocated. The next, ne the next part is that I have to enable the tunnel interface. Encapsulation will be IPsec. I have to assign the color. Caller will be in the tunnel interface. Face. Color. I'm going to use the color as MPLS. Allow service all. That is the interface related configuration that we need to be done. And after that, we have to configure the system related configuration. Go to the system. The first thing is we have to define the host name. So parameter, the configuration parameters are more or less same as we are done with the controllers. First thing I have to define the host name, which which is already the same. After that, I have to give the system IP. As we already know that we have to assign a system IP to every box in the SD WAN environment. And this IP should not need to be routable. After that, I have to give the site ID that where this V edge or van edge devices is placed. And then I have to give the organization name. The organization name will remain the same in the whole SD WAN environment and also the VBORN IP. So the basic configuration has been successfully completed. Now, what we have to do is to generate the CSR of this van edge device and sign it from our enterprise root CA and upload the certificate back into this VANAS. So in order to generate the CSR, I have to type request CSR upload home CSR.txt. I have to give the organization name. And the CSR has been successfully generated. I have to go into Vishal mode. The first and foremost thing is I have to copy the root CA certificate into this vanish device. So I'm going to my root CA device. And this is my root certificate. Using the Vim editor, root CA.crt, I've created the cert file. I'm going to paste that root certificate over here. 
save colon right hand quick okay and after that i will look into my csr which i generated previously more csr.txt this is the csr i have generated of this vanish device i will copy that csr going to my enterprise root ca I have to request the certificate against my this CSR. And what it will do, it will generate the certificate to me. This is my CS server. I will copy this certificate. Copy. I will create another file which is van or I will say it as vh dot crt. I'm going to paste that cert over here, scale, colon, right and quit. Now I'm exiting the shell mode. The first thing is I have to install the root cert chain into the vanage so that once I am installing the certificate of this vanage it will successfully accept that request root cert chain install home admin root ca dot crt this is the root cert that we paste into, into the vshell now this root ca is successfully installed in this vanage device now I will install the certificate. vh.crt. As you can see, it successfully installed. I am manually onboarding this vanish device. I have to request the vbond that you should accept this serial number when it is going to establish a tunnel to you. I will copy this. Copies. I'll go to the vManage. Or vbond first. Request. VH. Add. The first thing is chassis number. Chassis number is this. Paste. Serial number is of five. I will type the same command to the V manage as well. Copy, paste. There's one thing I'm missing actually. It's a route I, that I need to add into the VPN zero into the VPN zero. The route is missing, so I have to go into the VPN zero. Need to add a route zero dot zero dot zero slash zero, and the gateway is hundred dot one dot six dot six. As I'm using this interface, which is hundred dot one dot six dot one. And the get page 100.1.6.6. Commit and quit. I hope so now the tunnel is going to be established successfully. Yes. So as you can see, the tunnel is successfully established with the vbond and the vmanage. Currently, it is not established with the vsmart because it's the vmanage who is going to share the vanish device information with all of the controllers. So I have to go to the vmanage. The vanish should has to become over there. As you can see, the, those, that PS device is successfully came into my graphical user interface as well. Now I have to go into the certificates tab and I have to send the certificate of these vanish devices to all of the controller as well. So what it will do, 
it will send this information to the vbond as well as the vsmart so all of the controllers will get sync with all of those vanish devices and after that you will able to see the tunnel is going to be established with the vsmart as well now you can see the tunnel is established with the vsmart as well i hope you like this video Please keep watching Pits and Bites. Thanks.